G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. I'm going to do my dragon again. Did you all see my dragon? Oh my god, I love, I love, love, love my dragon. I designed this mold myself. This was the first time I, I made him. <laughs> there was a couple of little things that I can, you know, that I've I can change. Um, hopefully I'll, I can do better this time, but for a first attempt. Look at the detail. Oh my gosh. If you haven't seen me making this beautiful guy, I will link the video up in the top right hand corner towards the end of this video. Uh, I did him with chameleon pigment powder, so he's color changing. Look at the claws. So much detail. It's extremely intricate. Um, I've got the spikes along the back there and on the legs. It's just amazing. Um, it's a pre-order, so it won't be here till next year, so I'm sorry about that, but early next year. Now, today, um, doing again, but... Um, I want to do it all in one pour. When I did this one, uh, because I was using the Platinum 360 Plus, um, I had to do it in three layers because you can only, you, know, you can't pour it very deep. So I said to Des at Platinum, have you got a resin that I can use for a deep pour that I can just pour all in once? Because this is about four and a half centimeters deep, like almost two inches. And so he sent me this River Table Epoxy. So it's a two to one, so you get two part A's to one part B. River Table Epoxy. Um, clear, FDA approved, food grade, low viscosity, anti-UV, anti-yellowing, specially formulated to release bubbles and develop less heat for use on casting from two millimeters to 50 millimeters with absolute clarity and no cracking. So there we go. Um, I have made up that much, 650 grams. It's just been sitting there just for a minute while I was talking to you. And little micro bubbles have come to the surface. So it's looking really, really good. So I'm just going to put my gloves on. Um, so, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say to you. I'm just doing clear because I want to, I want to try out my new resin. But look. I'm going to put cellophane in. Yay. <laughs> you should have seen me trying to cut this up. I, I literally got it everywhere. It was sticking to my hands. I had said to my husband, come and get it off my hands. I had to put tape all over me to try and get it off. So I'm going to put some of that in the resin and just do clear. Okay. And just see if I can get like a crystal dragon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, before I put all the cellophane in, I'm just going to, Put a little bit of resin in. Now I had trouble because I, not trouble, but because I, it was the first time I used the mold last time, I didn't push the resin into um, the horns, for instance. So um, I did this horn, I didn't push the resin in in down into the mold so I'm going to do that this time um, what can I use what can I use this I'm going to use this little pointy thing now I don't even know I think that's I think that's a horn in there let's look how far that goes down into there yeah that's it there see horn goes all the way into there so, I'm going to put some more resin into that because I think I just popped it all out. So, I'm going to try and get um, the resin to go into that first. So, I'm not going to rush it this time. I kind of rushed it last time, but because I, I just, you know, I wasn't really quite sure about what I was, what I was doing and, and where all the holes were and all that kind of thing. So, because it is very intricate. There's another horn there. So we'll just 
push the resin in with my little stick. That's all I'm doing is just popping it in there. I cleaned out the mold as best I could from the chameleon powders last time, but I just used my alcohol and some baby wipes and got as much out as I could. I'm not terribly fussed if I didn't get it all out. Now the other thing I want to do is just want to, with, I'll use this thing because I've got it out. I'm just going to run this along the spine because I can see bubbles there because it's very spiny, it's very pointy. So I'm just going to run this up and down along the, the spine, along the backbone and uh, just basically push the resin in because it's got all those little spines. So I've got, oh, they're, not, they're not very big up there. It's just mainly along the, along the back, along his back. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> I can't take my gloves off and push paws now. So there we go. Hopefully that's, look at the noise, listen to the noise, can you hear the noise? <laughs> so hopefully that's um, getting the bubbles out. I can see bubbles there, I'm going to have to try and pop them. I'll get my heater out in a minute. Now where was the other area that I needed to go? Those there are the arms that hold the wings. Now under here, can you see down in in there. I want to get some resin down in there as well because there's there's these spikes like claws on the end of the wings and I want to make sure that I'm pushing the resin in there as well. See I didn't do that last time. I just I just put oh I just put the resin in and um, hoped for the best. Same on this side. Where are you? There we go. Push it in. Make sure it all goes in. Okay, where else? Now I'm going to see if I can just run this, get those bubbles up. Right, I'm just going to let that sit for a minute just to get those bubbles to come up. Try not to make too much of a mess. And then um, and we'll move on to the next step. All right, now let's get the resin. Still not warming up, which is good. <laughs> I'm just not used to working with resin that doesn't heat up. Now, um, I've got, so this is a big cup. It's about, um, I think it holds about one and a half cups. Um, I'm, I don't know that I want all of it in there. Let's just see what happens if I just put some in. Now I was really debating, oh gosh, I was really debating, um, oh, now I'm just getting bub, oh gosh, now I'm just getting bubbles. <gasps> I'm getting bubbles when I'm stirring it because when I put it in a whole heap of air went in there with it. Okay, well this is all new to me isn't it, but look at all the colours. Um, yeah, I was debating whether or not to put like a, a black background on it, you know, because you can always see this um, cellophane better if you've got a black background. But um, I think I'm just going to just leave it like this. I'm not sure how much I need to put in there. I probably got way too much in there. <laughs> oh, gosh. I did try to cut it up with scissors because it came in a bag like already shredded like that and I was trying to cut it with scissors and oh my gosh I was just making such a big mess. I'm just going to have to add a little bit and then like wait for the bubbles to come up because I didn't realize that me putting it in there like a big bunch like that I'd get so many bubbles so but um, I don't have any bubbles in here now if I saw one I just sort of got my little tool and just loosened it like that but hopefully there'll be no um bubbles in the the spine 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Just going to start putting some in. Maybe I should have <laughs> tried to cut it a little bit smaller. Oh, there's a big chunk. Take that one out. I don't know, you guys. The first time I've used this shredded stuff. Shredded cellophane. It looks pretty cool. It does. I just need to um, maybe just separate it a little bit more. Probably once it's in the mould, once it's all in the mould, I can probably, you know, separate it a little bit more. I'll push some up there into the head. And then afterwards, like after I've demolded, that's when I can get my my gold pen if I want to, uh, or my silver pen, and then go through and add details, you know, to claws or nails or to spines, um, facial features, horns, that sort of thing with a pen. I think um, that I'll try that next time. So we'll see how that goes. All right, now I'm going to try and get some of this in the in the tail without overflowing. If I get a big gloopy bit of it, ah, nope. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think a big gloopy bit just fell. Um, okay, I do have a little jar. Of um, you know cellophane that's already cut up into little pieces but it's only a little jar and it wouldn't have been enough to do this whole mold so I just thought oh, I'll just try and cut it up myself but um, yeah in hindsight if you've already got some cellophane that's pre-cut probably would be a good idea to to use it now I'm just going to get that resin into the little tail there. Yeah, see, I should have cut it a little bit better, but it was so difficult to cut. I was just getting it everywhere. <laughs> uh, and I was trying to make molds at the same time. I'm trying not to get the cellophane into my molds. There we go. I always have a baby wipe around now this is very very soft silicone um, it's stable like don't get me wrong but it needs to be soft soft silicone so that you can unmold easily and I'll show you how easy it is to unmold later on when I do unmold it it's putting a little bit of cellophane in the point there how's it looking so far little torch well that was see that was good the bubbles all came up to the surface and um, I just did a little torch I'm just cleaning up I like to have a clean workspace this is just the the resin that um, the cellophane made a mess with I do have some cellophane in there I can pick some out later and uh, you know pop it in any little areas that I've missed but it's a bit tricky to see where I've missed but I think you just need a hint of it like those people that have used cellophane before I think you, know, this, you just need a little hint of it don't you you don't need too too much all right now there's can you see those bubbles on the surface there I'm just gonna zap those oh look at that oh I love I love using this stuff and I'm gonna put I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the resin just into the tail because I've got plenty of cellophane there. Just need to top it up with resin and then we can put some more resin and cellophane down here and let's go into the head. I'm using my jug because it's got a nice spout on it so it's easy to use with my little spout look at it look at it shimmer it looks blue and green over there and then over here it looks pink and purple oh, I love it that's so exciting oh my gosh all right quick little torch be really really quick if you're going to torch 
You don't want to ruin your mold. I'm not quite sure when I'll be getting all my molds, um, but I can do a pre-order for you. But just be aware that you know it might be four weeks or so before you get one if you order one. Now I just want to put spread this around a little bit. Actually, I'll put some more in and then I can spread it around afterwards because the cellophane being a bit heavier, it kind of wants to sink. We can have a look and see where it's going in the head later on. All right. So, yeah, if you're doing this, don't madly stir your cellophane because it just fills up with air. Bubbles. Put a bit more. Oh, I've gone over again. Because I get a big blob of cellophane. gonna clean that up where did it go where did it go it's gone in there got it I got it now I'm not I don't know exactly how long this resin takes to cure um, I should have actually asked when I was speaking to Des but I forgot to <laughs> Now I'll show you. I'll show you the sides of the mold later. It's not solid. It's it's standing up on like these wings. Um, just otherwise, you know, it would just it probably weigh two kilos, like four pounds, if if it was a solid mold. So I'll show you that later on. So some more bubbles just there. Let's get them. All right. Okay, it's still it's still good. <laughs> Not getting hot. Get some more bubbles. Probably need to um, just spread these out a little bit. I can fiddle with those later, can't I? I just want to make sure that every section, like every piece, has got cellophane in it. All right, let's pour some more. Glob, glob, glob. Look at it all blobbing out. I'm loving this resin so far. Just move everything gently. I'm pushing the cellophane up here. It is going to want to all fall down, but when I've filled the mould up, I think it'll be, I'll still be able to get some cellophane up there and there's a little bubble gotcha gotcha all right now i still want to put a little bit more clear resin just up here I'll put some more cellophane in the tail if you don't want to watch this whole thing guys feel free to fast forward i'm just taking my time i'm enjoying the process I've been looking forward to this you know it's my hobby oh yes it's also my business but it's my hobby and I want to enjoy the process I don't want to rush it so if you don't want to watch me fiff and faff <laughs> and fiddle just fast forward I don't mind I don't mind put a little bit of cellophane in that foot I will have to pick up little bits and move them around so that I can get it everywhere because I haven't got any cellophane in that little foot there yet but I've still got more in my cup so I can put some more in all right now again I'm just going to wait I'm going to clean up my mess I'm just going to wait a little bit just a minute or so for the bubbles to come up then I can quickly torch them uh, and then we'll move on to the next layer so you don't have to rush with this resin I'm not I'm not feeling rushed at all 
I know I can take my time. I've got a long work time. I don't have to rush to get it all filled up before it sets up. So I can take my time, wait for the bubbles to come up, pop them, pour a bit more, wait again. So, yeah, very happy with it so far. Now, where's my tweezers? Here's my tweezers. <laughs> I'm going to grab a bit of cellophane and I'm going to pop it there. I don't want to stick my tweezers in the resin. I do want some in the little Tootsie Toes. Like so. This one's got plenty, I think. But this will be this will be me, you know, faffing around after I've turned the video off, putting bits of cellophane into toes, you know. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. Putting cellophane into toes. Now, the other thing I need to just double check as well, once I've done this, is... Oops, get in there. Get in there! Yeah, certainly would be easier with smaller pieces of cellophane, guys. This is one of the things where I go... Do as I say, not as I do again. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Use small cellophane. Um, now, what was the other thing? I needed to check to make sure that I'm getting the resin under there. I am under there. I think that's all good. I think I've got it everywhere that I need to get it. All right. little torch again okay moving on see there's not much cellophane in there now I think I'll need a little bit more let's put some like that like that I think I'm gonna need a little bit more just for the wings because it's kind of all gone into the body So, but gee, put a little scoop in and then just bubble city. Gosh. Obviously, lots of bubbles get, air gets trapped as you're pouring the cellophane in. Okay, over here. This wing. And uh, I may add more to, you know, the wings later on. Once it's full, how's it looking so far? Hey, looking good. Now, I'll put some in the, a little bit more in the head here. So I'm just going to be basically, oh, I haven't done the hands yet. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to be bored with watching me. Hey, gosh. I hope I've got enough. I need to put some resin in the hands and then I'm going to have to go and put some cellophane in those fingers as well so but look I'll do that off camera so that I'm not um, boring you too much just put a blob there and then I can clean up afterwards and the other thing I need to do too is come down into these see these down here there and here it's the end of the um, the wings, and I need to make sure I'm getting into those as well. I will try and get a piece of cellophane in there as well. That's a bit dirty from last time. Look at that. I can clean it while I'm here. Yeah, so make sure that you get a little nice little soft silicone tool and push in there like that. Push in there like that so that you're getting the resin right in. All right, so that's pretty much me done, you guys. I've got a little bit more 
faffing to do. I've got a little bit more resin. So let's pour it all in. Well, there's good calculation there. See, I made a note of how much I used last time. So for those of you that are interested, I did 475 grams of part A and 210 grams of part B, which is exactly 685 grams. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to bore you anymore. I will just go around and take my time, fix up any areas that need a little bit more cellophane. But basically, that is it. So I need to put some more cellophane in into the head there. Like the deep areas, the cellophane's all kind of gone in. But um, I do need to do that. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to take these gloves off so that I can bring you down because I wanted to show you the sides of the mould. I'm sorry if it's a long video. Oh, 26 minutes. Look, it's not too bad, is it? All right, so here we go. Here's the sides. See these wings? You just need to, when you get your mould, just make sure that they're nice and, and straight. See, if, if these were all full of silicone, you know, it would just, A, cost so much to, to buy the mould, and then um, it would cost so much to ship because it's, you know, so heavy. So that's what the mould looks like under there. And, they've, you know, they're quite stable. They're, they're not going anywhere. There's our gorgeous cellophane. Is that a bubble? That's a bubble. <gasps> Look at that. Gotcha. So yeah, I'll just um, go through and put some more cellophane into his feet, into his hands, and I need to push some into his little head as well. So I'm going to do that, um, and then I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yay for the unmolding! Super excited. See you soon. All right, guys. It's set, oh, the middle, where it's the deepest, it was set rock hard in like two hours. I put my hand over the top. I could feel some heat coming out of it. It wasn't too bad, but I could still feel the heat, you know, of that chemical reaction happening. So I'll try not to take as long as I did last time, but I just have to be careful about how I'm unmoulding. But see how soft it is? It's like it's a really nice soft silicone. Now the tail is still a little bit bendy. I guess the, the thicker, deeper areas, you know, they cure really fast. And then the, um, the more shallow areas, they, they take a little bit longer because they're not having as much heat generated in that chemical reaction. I guess is my theory. I'm st this is only the second time I've done this, so I'm still not exactly sure like what's the best way to unmold it. Because I have to be careful not to break off anything, anything like that. Like there's a foot out. Now I have to remember that there's a little claw in there. And I have to get that little claw out. I don't want to break the claw. Get this bit out. It's a bit of cellophane there. And I have to also remember about the horns. So I might leave the head. The last, get that little hand out. Now, if I can fold this bit back, I 
and get that horn out. There it is, look! <laughs> Oops, the paper's moving. Got my horn out, yay! <laughs> All right, now let's try these little horns on his head. Look how, look how soft it is. Like, I'm just taking my time here. I'm just being ultra careful. There's one horn. There's a horn. Just a little bit soft, that horn. it's a little bit trickier for me because I'm trying to do it here and keep it in, in camera for you like in shot I should say oh gosh I want to get this other horn out I don't want to break my horn I can see him can you see him in there there he is I'm going to do a couple of things at once. I'm trying to take this out from under the fingers here. That's okay. I'll loosen a little, little bit of everything, I think. A little bit of everything. Oh, there's another claw there. There's the, that's the hand free. Get that out from underneath that little hand there. Because I don't want to break the horn. Oops. Trying to move my paper. All right, now we should be able to get that. Oh, oh got it. Is it all right? It's good. Right. Now I'll just roll this little piece out. Like so. Like that. And then this bit under there. is the trickiest part um, just because oh, I was just being careful you know not to break the horn now I'm gonna hold him while I loosen around this little foot here I hope we're still in screen focus I can't see what you're seeing at the moment I'm concentrating on what I'm doing here I'm gonna get this little foot out there we go And then this bit here, I'm not going as slow as I did last time because I, you know, I, I know what I'm doing this time around, but still being careful, I don't want to break anything. Just need to get this last little bit out from underneath that wing. Ta-da! Look! Wow! Did it! Did it! <gasps> All right, let's have a look. I've got this little. <laughs> I obviously didn't clean inside my mold all that well on that one. Tail's a little bit um, bendy still, but that will set up. All right, now are we ready? Are we ready to flip him over? I've got this black bit of paper here. And we'll just see what it looks like, hey? Ooh, look at that! Wow! Look at that! Isn't it gorgeous? Wow! Oh, look, I didn't get my horn properly. I forgot. I missed that horn. This horn's perfect. This horn's not. Did I leave it in there? Which one was it? Let's have a look. This one on the side. No, I was just looking in there and seeing if I broke it off in there, but no, I didn't. Nope. 
obviously just didn't didn't push down enough the other thing I should have done I think is um see there's his head up there is just giving this a squeeze you know like once the resin's in there just give it a bit of a squeeze that's okay I actually might be able to just next time next time I get like a, a that's what I can do actually that's set that's set um if I had like a little piece of um, resin that's like semi-set, you know how you can like roll it into a little ball and just like stick it on there and make a, make a little horn? I'll do that. That's easy to do. Not a problem. Oh, I'll just get on my step here. It looks as if he's shining. It looks as if he's got a light behind him, doesn't it? Let's go in for a close-up. looks as if it does it looks as if there's like light behind him imagine if you put like lights inside him hey I've seen people do that not with dragons but with other things they put lights inside little fairy lights so this this claw here has turned out really well the tail's good look at that claw there there's a claw there there's a claw here little tiny bit of overflow on a couple of little tootsie toes but that's fine all the claws all the claws are good this one look at that one that's good all the toes are good that's good Got a little tiny bit of overflow in in the mouth I'll just pick that out it's not a problem a little horn up there got horns on the top of his head I don't know how much you can see oops can you see the the horns on top of his head there look at those and then along here this horn's perfect and then he's got like these flaps I don't know what those are called <laughs> oh flaps <laughs> on the side and then going down his neck very scaly and then down the back there I don't know if you can see properly down the back all the way down that row see that all the way down love it love it I need the one little horn that's that's the only thing out of the whole thing otherwise it would be just perfect just perfect look at that so pretty <sighs> all right now the other thing I wanted to do um I like gold I love gold I think the gold I mean because it's it's like quite it's clear I think the silver would be lost on it so let's just have a look Put my step back let's have a little look and see uh, what it would look like with some gold features okay now obviously you don't have to do this but um, I just want to see hopefully I'm not ruining it but I will I will fix the other horn I will I just have to wait till I've got a little bit of resin left over from another job and then I'll mold myself a new horn What do you think of that? I guess it's up to you how much, you know, extra detail you want to put on. I'm going to do these horns. I'm kicking myself for not pushing that resin into the horn enough. I, th I thought I had, but... Obviously, I hadn't. Okay, so anyway, that's. I'm just going to do the top for now. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of gold. I don't know that I'll colour the whole thing in. Well, I guess you could.
the little spikes on his head. Is that what they're called? Spikes? What do you think? Do you like it? Or do you not like it? I don't even know where you are. There you are. I can't see what you're seeing. Let me get back on my box. Back on my box so I can see what I'm... Hopefully see what you're seeing. What do you reckon? Do you like that bit of little touch of gold? So then, because that's there, I would then have to go all the way through. I'm just going to do the tips here. I'm just going to run my Deco colour pen just along the top and just get the tips of all of those for now. You could obviously colour each one in later on, but for now I just want to do the just the tips of all of them. What do you think? Or maybe you prefer it without that. I don't know. I'll go all the way along. I think that's probably enough. Um, you could do the little triangle thing at the end there, but I think I like it as it is. I'm going to colour this claw in. Is it a claw? I think it's a claw, like so. And then these claws here, do those ones as well. I'm going to do his little toenails as well. Like so. And then I need to do... Oh, look, at that. I didn't push my resin into those ones as, as much. I did this side. <laughs> I didn't do that side. <laughs> oh, never mind. Room for improvement, guys. Room for improvement. When you do... I've had already numerous orders for my Dragon Mold. It's in the eBay store. It's just a pre-order because I'm not going to have them until early January. Um, but when you do get your mould and you make it, please show me. I'd love to see what you've done with it. You can pop it up in my Facebook group. If you're not already a member, welcome to join. doesn't cost you anything. And um, I'd love to see your dragons and, of course, everything else that you've made. We can chat about them. Okay, there we go. I think that's it. I think I've done everything. Everything that I've wanted to do anyway in the gold. Like I said, it's just a little, just a little hint of, of colour. You, you don't have to do it. I just, I wanted to do it. There you go. Oh, love him, love him, love him. What's his name? Does he have a name? Actually, maybe I'll do his eyes as well. <laughs> Get carried away here. Let's do his eyes. You could do his eyes in black. Look, I've missed this one on his nose. A little horn on his nose there. But yeah, you could do his eyes in black if you prefer, rather than gold. I'll have to get something a bit thinner to put in there. Oh, there we go. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Pretty simple. When I do that, can you see can you see the flash of color? I don't know if you can see it like in here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, just love it. Oh my gosh, love it, love it, love it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get back to my baking. I'm doing Christmas baking. I'm making shortbread today. <laughs> So um, I'll be doing that. But um, yeah, I will certainly do another dragon. I'll put him next to my other one. Let me go and get my other one. And then we can see them both together. There they are. There we go. Can you see them both now? Which one do you prefer? <laughs> 
boy and a girl because <laughs> she's pretty. <laughs> He's pretty too. All right, that's it. Got to go. Thank you ever so much for watching. Love, loving all your comments. And um, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.